All right, so in this video, we're going to look at how can you find the max and min using a graphing calculator. Um, things like the ACT or SAT, you're not allowed to use Desmos, so this might be a good skill to have if you're trying to do some standardized tests like that. So um, we're going to start out by going to y equals, and we're going to type in the polynomial that we're given. And so I've got one here. Uh, I've got it already typed in. And we're going to take a look at what this one looks like on our graph. So we're going to hit graph. If you hit graph and you get some, you know, funky window, uh, then what I would do is hit zoom. That's the middle one here. And then go down to six standard. And that's going to get you to the normal uh, 10 by 10 graph. So it's graphing it for me. There's my polynomial. And so the goal here is to try to find mins and maxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit second, the blue button, and then trace. That's this button right here. And so that's going to have us, it's the calc function, the calculate function. And so you guessed it, we're going to find the minimum. And so I want to find this minimum right here. When it says left bound, that means I am going to go to the left. See that blinking cursor as I'm moving it? I'm just pressing left and right arrows to move it. So if I hit to the right, I'll move over to the right. If I press to the left, up and down doesn't do anything. Um, so I'm going to be on the left of that minimum, and I'm just going to hit enter down at the bottom here. And then I'm going to go over to the right when it says right bound, and I'm going to hit enter. So it's on the right of that minimum. Enter. And then when it says guess, I want to get it fairly close to that minimum. So what we're doing here is the calculator is saying, hey, tell me between what two x values does this minimum occur? And then I'll run some algorithm and I'll figure out where that minimum is. So you just hit guess and it'll do some calculations and there we got our minimum is at negative 1.000001 and y is negative 5. Sorry, it's a little grainy on the screen here. Um, so you can safely assume that that's negative 1. When the calculator does its, uh, its algorithm to figure this out, it, it struggles with rounding sometimes. And so the minimum here would be negative 1 comma negative 5. So if we want to figure out the other minimum, which is like right over there, we would do the same thing. We go second, trace, go to minimum, hit enter. And then when it says left bound, we want to make sure we're on the left of that other minimum. So there I'm on the left of that minimum. I'm going to hit enter. Ooh, I hit the wrong button. Let's go back and do that again, sorry. Second, trace, minimum. I'm on the left of that minimum. There we go, I hit enter this time. And then right bound, I'm going to go over on the right of that minimum, hit enter. And then I go down to the other minimum, I hit enter. And this is 2.9999992, so 3. If you, you can safely assume that's 3. And then the y is negative 5, so it would be 3, comma, negative 5. And then for maximums, just the same exact thing, second, calc. This time you go to maximum. And then when it says left bound, you want to make sure you're on the left of that maximum. Hit enter. Right bound, you want to make sure you're on the right of that maximum. Hit enter. Guess, get close to the top. And there our maximum is at 1, 3. So uh, pretty straightforward. You really want to know for max and mins, you hit second and then trace, and then just make sure you set that you know, left and right bound so it's that max or min is right in between those. All right, so that's it.